Hi friends, this is a video to help homeschool co-ops understand a little bit how the opportunities work with taking courses through My Fun Science. My name is Angie Baer and I happen to teach several classes through My Fun Science. Um, a lot of them are useful for these co-ops and so it's kind of a nice opportunity for those who are looking for another option. So I wanna just go through some of those things. I'll tell you a little bit about myself and I'll move into um, how this actually works. Um, first of all, I am a farmer. My husband is also a farmer. <laughs> um, my husband is a, a partner in a dairy farm and I actually run a horse farm. And so this has been all about animals for the last several years of my life. Um, in addition to that, I'm a homeschool mom. Um, most of you understand what that's like, especially if you're involved in a co-op. Um, my two oldest sons have graduated, so I'm, I'm two down, three to go for graduating kids in homeschool. Um, very family focused. We, we are very much a part of, of being centered and focused in Christ as a family, and that's a very important role for us. Um, my husband and I are also worship leaders at our church, and so one of my biggest convictions is to take all of creation, all of science, and point kids towards their creator and how amazing he is and the big role that he has to play in um, being glorified and, and proven to be so beautiful in, in all that he has done in science and creation. So that's a core value for me as a teacher. Um, I also teach these classes. So this has been a fun experience for me. Um, specifically with the botany course, we are studying through Apologia's curriculum, the Exploring Creation with Botany. Um, that is by Jeannie Fulbright. And if you're familiar with that curriculum, you know how amazing it is. It's incredible, very thorough and it gives the kids to do a lot of immersion into that particular subject. Um, I also teach the, uh, some other courses using this curriculum and it's pretty amazing. Um, a lot of the learning that we do is project-based. Um, I like to take kids that hate science and give them a chance to enjoy it. And so a lot of times the reading material is always heavy or kids just don't get concepts. And what I like to do is do hands-on projects and give them um, learning opportunities that make it so that they can use all of their senses and, and different things to, to learn. And uh, not just reading, uh, reading is excellent. And so we incorporate that too, um, but also hands-on approach to how they learn. Um, a lot of the materials that we do use uh, in the botany course is uh, mostly household type um, items. So you can use, um, you know, the seeds or, or beans that we use. We even will get like beans you get over the counter or at the, not over the counter, but at the grocery store, just like, um, you know, dry beans. Those are the kind of things that we will use to germinate. And so there's nothing like really fancy that we have to buy, but there are a couple of things that you have to plan ahead for. And so we try to let you know all of that. Um, the facilitator for the co-op will actually have, uh, they will be the contact person that will be, um, uh, the one that, that directs a lot of the materials and what you need to know and what you need to have. Um, and as far as, as uh, using technology, we try to do as much as we can. So I actually have my little handy dandy USB um, uh, microscope and the kids even name the microscope because that's what kids love to do so they take a poll and name the microscope um, because we use it a lot especially in the botany class we dig into all the different parts and we look at as close as we possibly can to the intricate structures of all the plants that we're learning about um, and it's true for also for the other courses that I teach too um, the nature of science has us learning through our senses to make observations. And so what we try to do is use as many of those opportunities to give that optimal learning experience for the children. We want them to um, just grow to love science. That's something that we really um, have as a core value. We want them to love it and know that learning is fun and science is fun. Um, a lot of times we'll do this during class. Uh, you can see my little laptop here. I will show them like the video camera here that you can see me talking and they actually turns into my microscope and they'll watch me focus in and they'll see um, the different structures. And then also when we're not in class, they're learning through projects and those hands-on type um, things that the projects that they have as their homework material. Okay, so a lot of times people get confused. How does this class work? How on earth will this work in a co-op setting? Um, first of all, there are two parts to the My Fun Science courses. First, first part is the PowerSchool uh, platform that we use. That is where we have all the class information. 
that particular place for a co-op setting is going to be the facilitator's responsibility. And I'll get into that in a minute. Um, but that is not, not something that the parents will ever have to really worry about at all. So navigating the classroom um, will be the facilitator's job. That's where all the assignments are, the class recordings, um, all the links, all the materials, all of that is on the classroom page. Um, and if you were uh, ever wanting to do a particular course as a single person, um, as a single student, instead of through a co-op, would, you would have access to the page like this. Um, but the, the part that is going to affect all the students, and this is the part that they will be connecting to most, is the Adobe Connect Live class. And that is a lot like what you're seeing right here in this recording. Um, this is um, very much the, the setting that we use. We, we have a camera, we have a PowerPoint presentation, um, and as you can see, my little picture here, there's, there's going to be um, the list of students' names, there's a chat box so that they can ask questions, they can interact with each other, um, and I do a lot of monitoring for that, um, especially with the younger students, as you can imagine. Um, I also have the guided notes and the slides available on um, files here that you can upload and um, as a classroom. And that particular thing won't be an issue so much because the facilitator will already have that information ahead of time through connection with me. Um, so the live class is going to be projected on the screen for the whole group to view. And so the students come in the classroom, they're at your co-op, and they will see it projected on the screen. And the co-op actually logs in as a student, and they are a single student. So their name, your co-op name, will fill in that student blank. So up here, you will be seen as a student, the whole co-op. Um, and then the co-op facilitator, or whoever the, the, the teacher is for your course there in the in the co-op, the facilitator will moder moderate the classroom chat. And so a lot of times the moderator will, it'll come up in the chat as their name of, of the co-op. And they'll say, um, you know, Johnny has a question about this. And they'll type that in. And then I can live in real time say, OK, Johnny, this is how it works. And I can answer him in real time. And it's, it's a little more interactive and a little more personal than just, you know, some other YouTube video or instructional video. Um, but they also have uh, guided notes that they follow, so um, they will fill in the blanks. And a lot of times I highlight those words so that they can know which words they're filling in the blank um, during our classroom time. And that keeps them interacting. It keeps them able to keep up with the material as we're going. And there's a lot of visuals in the class. So I like to bring a lot of visuals in because it helps ingrain that, um, that concept or whatever into their minds. And then we do a lot of uh, videos also to reinforce that as well. So um, the facilitator has a very big role to play. And some of you might recognize this picture. Um, the facilitator is uh, the person who is in direct contact with me. Um, so we will correspond through email, through phone, texting a lot of times conference calls, whatever we need to do to communicate, and that is determined ahead of time so that we can stay in good connection. Um, the facilitator there at the co-op is responsible for the live class setup. So to make sure that there's a good internet connection, um, there's a projector available, the speakers, the computer, all the setup, all the cables that you need, all that, that's the facilitator's job there at the co-op. Um, that person is your connection person with the, the uh, students and parents. They're going to connect with the facilitator. The facilitator will answer any questions, or if they don't know, they'll find me and, and uh, we'll get you the answers. But that is, that's the place where the students and parents will connect to my fun science through the facilitator. Um, the course grading material, all the coursework that they do, the, the Worksheets and those kind of things are all graded by the facilitator or however the facilitator chooses to do that. So you might choose that the students will swap pages and grade their own papers, that kind of thing. Um, but that's all determined by the co-op uh, facilitator. Um, also, they are given the guided notes that we talked about, all the worksheets, the answer keys. All of that is in kind of a file form that I uh, directly give to the facilitator. Um, that they can just administer as needed. If for whatever reason there's, you know, course material that doesn't suit you, you are totally at freedom, will to do whatever you need to do to make this customized for your particular needs. Because this, the co-op itself is not going to be in my gradebook. I don't have to keep grades. 
um, there's nothing in that forum for me to have to deal with with the co-op. So the co-op, all the grading and all the coursework, that kind of thing is all entirely at the discretion of the co-op. They can decide how much they want to do or if they want to incorporate more subjects or more, um, more worksheets, that kind of thing. Um, uh, some of the questions that I hear are, can we get to the live session if we're not meeting? If for whatever reason the co-op isn't meeting that day, that's their break week or whatever, you're totally able to get into the live class. In that particular sense, um, the setting and whatever that would happen, you would have access to a web a web link that would take you into this classroom, just like what we're in right now with this recording. It would be the live classroom, and then each student would log in as their own name. Instead of the co-op name, it would be their own name, and then they would personally be able to get into class from the comfort of their own home and then meet together as a classroom. Um, again, they only have access to the Adobe Connect um, to, to the Adobe Connect live class. They would not have access to the class pages in PowerSchool. So that kind of divides that up. It keeps it so that that's the only thing that the students would ever have to worry about is making sure their computers would have um, the latest version of Adobe Connect, which is very easy and free, and um, it's it's a very good quality program. Um, and and if there are any questions at all whatsoever about Adobe Connect, how that works, what to do, you're always welcome to ask anytime, um, and you can get a hold of me. Um, I actually will type that in. This is how I, I use my board here during the classroom. I can do my drawing tools and I can write on the board. And I'll put my my email. It's a bear at myfunscience.com. And you can get a hold of me anytime to ask me questions. We also have support that is always available. They're amazing. And even the, the chat box there, you can uh, go to the website and they have a live chat that will help you with any questions you have too. Um, it is a really amazing source to utilize the MyFunScience options with the co-ops. I know for years we had co-ops that I, I would take my kids to and it was, it was really, um, it would, would have expanded a lot of our options for students to have more availability for different subjects and different materials. So this is kind of a new world we're exploring a little bit, but it also um, is such a unique opportunity. It gives a live interactive resource instead of just a YouTube video that you put up or a recording you put up. It's something that's interactive and the students can interact with the teacher and ask questions real time. Um, the other thing is they're in a setting with other students. Sometimes these students are all over the world. You know, we have students, um, military students, missionary students, and they're in other countries. And it's so unique for the young kids to see the world is a big place, and yet we're all connected. And it's really neat that, that we have this option with technology to meet together in a classroom setting. Um, and then it gives them a chance to, to interact with other kids a little bit more, too, during that live session. Um, of course, it, it expands the course offerings for your co-op. Your co-op is now able to, to reach a whole different uh, area for your students and give them more availability for, for just learning and growing and deciding what they really want to do and be as they grow older. Um, several of the course options that I have that are really good, their settings are good for a co-op uh, setting, is um, the uh, Young Scientist Anatomy Physiology, which was our first pre-trial run that we did, um, and that was very successful. We had a really good time with that, and I think students enjoyed that um, interaction. And now we're offering the My Fun Science uh, Young Scientist Botany class. The botany class is fantastic. It's, um, there's a lot of interaction with the kids and with plants. And believe it or not, botany is a lot of fun and it's very enjoyable. It's hands-on. There's so much to learn about botany and about plants. Um, and then also the prebiology. Prebiology is um, definitely for, for a younger student that is interested in the biology but doesn't like the heavy reading. The heavy reading material could be bogging them down. And so this is a good course for hands-on, a lot of experiments, a lot of worksheets that are fun and interactive. Um, they even do a dissection um, and students get a little lab kit in the mail and that's always fun too. Um, also, any course materials that they would need specifically for their classes, like the anatomy and physiology and the prebiology, I send to the students or to the co-op in a box all together so they have all the materials they need. Um, the botany course does not have that because they're a lot of just household things that you use. And it's, it's, um, 
it would be completely up to the discretion of the, the facilitator and the co-op how they want to utilize some of those um, projects. We do a light box. We, we actually, this is what you see behind me here. It's, it's a foil lined box with a light inside. We call it our little light hut. And I don't think it's plugged in right now, but this is what I use to grow our plants in. And so you could have one of those for your whole co-op and have someone that monitors that. Or even if the students want to make their own at home, they could have their own and they can monitor their own plants. That's entirely up to your discretion how you want to, want to do that. But most of what we do um, through the botany class is just with household things. Um, and then we go outside and collect leaves. We do a lot of things that are just around us in nature anyway. So hopefully I've answered some of your questions. Um, if you do have any other questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'm very uh, happy to help out however I can. And we really look forward to having the co-ops be a part of this and take advantage of this opportunity. It's a great chance for students to grow and learn and uh, just expand in that way. So hopefully this was helpful. I hope you uh, enjoy.